A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child whom he put among them and said, Truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. Take care that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I tell you, in heaven their angels continually see the face of my Father in heaven. What do you think? If a shepherd has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains and go in search of the one that went astray? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he rejoices over it more than over the ninety-nine that never went astray. So it is not the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. The reference to the ninety-nine sheep and the one sheep has been referred to quite a lot in the tensions, debates and riots that have emerged during a summer of discontent that we have experienced on matters to do with race. Triggered most particularly by the murder of George Floyd, there has been an awful lot of rhetoric and protest around the very necessary statement that Black Lives Matter, which some have countered with the phrase, all lives matter. And many people have made reference to Jesus talking about the 99 and the one to explain why all lives matter is not an appropriate response to the events we have seen unfold. The 99 are doing just fine in the story which Jesus has told. These are important words. It's an extremely helpful corrective. And I have no doubt at all that Jesus would have said, yes, black lives matter. And what is particularly helpful and what we should note this morning is the way in which the story of the 99 and the one is coupled with the nature of those who get to enter the kingdom of heaven. We should not hear the two parts of Jesus' teaching here separately. It is important that they are linked together. Who is it that is the greatest? The child. How do you get into the kingdom of heaven? the childlike, or as he then sets out, the humble. And perhaps if we did a little bit more listening to the humble and the childlike, we wouldn't need to stress so much about any particular lives mattering, because perhaps the humble and the childlike would be able to show us the path to a world where such issues mercifully might become a thing of the past. Jesus shows us that all lives matter, that black lives matter, and that the humble get a priority place in the kingdom. Let's try and start listening to them and rejoicing in anything we can do to welcome and save a sheep that has gone astray. Amen.